Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I sat on this sofa and did a haul video with you because, if I'm honest, um, all our money has been going into the garden um, this month or the last six weeks but me and Jack went shopping the other day and we bought a few bits and bobs um, and to be honest this is like a collective haul, the title would be collective haul because I just went to a few shops and I thought I would show you what I brought. Um, I have also done an order on Shein so I've got a few bits from there as well um, but I'll just crack on with going straight in and show you what I picked up from H&M. Um, I'll show you what I brought and what Jack brought as well. I've only got like two things for Jack, but I thought I'd show you anyway. So I only picked up one thing for myself from H&M and it's these brown beige, well, they're like a beige, what's the colour on here? Oh, it doesn't say. They're like a beige colour, paper bag shorts. Now these look really big. They're a size small. Um, I haven't tried them on yet but I'm gonna insert some try-on clips here anyway. I'm just gonna sort out this sofa. Yeah, I'm gonna insert some try-on clips. What I like about these is they're really thick. There's just no way really that these can be see-through. Um, and I know like the style at the moment is very much to wear this like beigey color with some nice sandals and like a brown top. That's the kind of the theme I was going with, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's it's really pretty and I really like it. They also have these in white and black. So if these look nice on, I might get them in the other colours because I feel like these are the sort of shorts you want when you go on holiday that aren't going to stick to you, which are comfortable. You can go out for dinner and eat a burger and chips without worrying about, you know, being feeling bloated in denim shorts. Um, and hopefully we will be going to Florida this year. So if we do go in July these should be ideal for it um so yeah definitely go check these out they do have them in th two other colors so one of three and they were 10 pounds so i forgot to say that at the start they were 9.99 can you go wrong 9.99 yes they do look really big i might have to get an extra small but we'll see um so that was that from h&m and what's wrong about h&m oh i picked up this shirt for jack again in the brown colour this was in the sale i believe yeah for seven pounds from 18 and it's just this lovely like beige throw on shirt like this is the sort of shirt that you would wear with um like a white top underneath um i think it's gorgeous it looks really nice on him he has tried it on and he's keeping it um yeah there's nothing really more to say about that it's just a really really lovely shirt really thin again another holiday shirt that you can wear in the evening as throw on over a t-shirt um if you feel like it's getting a bit cold or whatever so yeah really good buy from h&m there um i oh boring bought some makeup removal pads some cosmetic i like these overall ones because they fill your whole face you know you can use two and it just gets it all off whereas those tiny little round ones what, what do you get like you have to use like four of them for your whole face so yeah these are really great for that um i went into typo i'm drinking out of this at the moment and if you watch my what i eat in the day video you would have seen this on there this gorgeous floral um print bottle i think it's a liter i might be wrong um, but it was only seven pounds from Typo, and it's really nice to drink out of. Lovely demonstration there for you. <laughs> but yeah, it's gorgeous. And I did see um, a lady said she brought it as soon as she saw it on the What I Eat in the Day video. Um, they had loads and loads of different designs. Um, so yeah, if you're near a Typo, definitely go check this out. I know they do have an online shop as well. So if you want to buy it on there, buy it on there. But um, yeah, really lovely water bottle and I get through so many of these a day because it's there, it's convenient, it's just what I needed really. Because I, I don't know about you, but those like big litre ones, you know, the gallon ones, whatever they are, the like what gym goers, what I know I'm a gym goer, but I mean proper gym goers, drink out of, the, the, the bit at the top, it doesn't have a straw, I can't drink like that. I need a little sippy bit, which I know is not very good for like, swallowing too much air and stuff but we live okay 
Then I popped into New Look and I bought some really lovely sandals in there. So it's these woven style like slider sandals. I'm absolutely in love with them. They look like this. They're gorgeous. And I think those with those sh these with those shorts and like a nice brown top or you know, any colour top really will go with these. Or nice dress. Like I've got a dress from Shein and I'll show you that could go with these. Um, any summery dress, you know, tea dresses or whatever could really go with these. They are gorgeous. They fit lovely and they don't feel like they're going to like attack your toes because they've got like a nice leather. I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but they're leather inside. So it's not like the woven inside that would just attack your toes. Um these are a wide fit thank god because i've got wide feet um and these are 19.99 which i thought is really good price for decent sandals i you could just tell that not like primark sandals will fall apart after a few wears and they're like six quid um these actually feel like they're gonna last and be sturdy and be my new summer dress shoe so yeah that's those and they are very gorgeous um, looking forward to getting into summer with those. Now, a bit of a random purchase, but I thought I'd throw it in. It's this gorgeous um, plant pot that I picked up from a local garden centre. Um, it's this like really lovely brownie, creamy colour, and it just goes perfectly with our decor in our living room. Our lovely neighbour um, had like a mini, a baby spider plant growing from her existing spider plant so she gifted me it she brought it over it was absolutely tiny it was a quarter of this size um, and it's grown like this in the space of a month or two um, so i've moved him into this pot because he was in a tiny pot and he is absolutely loving it he's just grown so much since and you can see i can see the little bits little bits that are split splurting out sprouting out sprouting out um, and I just sit him in my windowsill and he looks really lovely. And this plant pot was only about six pounds in our local garden centre. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty. I thought I'd share that because it's a new purchase and it's home related. And I know some people love home related content. So happy days. Um, moving on, I'll show you what Jack picked up from um, Fat Face because I think this is an absolute steal. So um, Fat Face in our local shopping centre had a massive sale. I think everything in there was on sale. Um, so Jack picked up these boots, um, which are like, you know, the Chelsea boot style. He doesn't own anything like this, um, but he's always wanted some, but he's never really justified the price for shoes that he feels that he won't wear that often. Um, but I've kind of told him he used to buy them. So these were, they were £85 and Jack got them for £25. £25. They were the only pair left and they were in his size. He's got big feet. <laughs> um, and yeah, so these will look lovely with um, check trousers, black jeans, all that jazz. Um for smart wear and he's really chuffed with them and he's just started a new job if you i don't know if i've mentioned that in a, in a um in one of my videos but he started a new job which is um he's training to be a financial advisor and i think these sort of shoes would just be per perfect for the office when he wants to you know wear something different than his normal leather um posh shoes so yeah very nice and a very good bargain from fat face I just thought that was just amazing. Um, moving on then, my sister's birthday is coming up. I will be posting this after her birthday because it's tomorrow. So I'll be posting this probably a couple of days later. And I picked this up for her from Pandora. I thought I'd show you because why not? It comes in a bag annoyingly, but I'm going to undo it. I'm going to move it into one of the boxes I've got to show you from Pandora as well. And it's this wishbone ring absolutely stunning i might actually buy this for myself i'll bring it to the camera so it's this like i don't know if you can if it's if it's um showing but it's just stunning i'll put it on why not um stunning like edged ring and it's just gorgeous it it just shines in the light this is a pandora one as well that i'm wearing here but this one is just beautiful and I think she's going to absolutely love it. 
Um, it was about, it was either 35 or 40 pounds. Um, but it's just a lovely birthday present. It's her 16th, so it's a big birthday in my eyes. And I just thought we'd treat her to a nice ring, something sentimental. Um, I've also got Jack's sister's birthday coming up um, the following week. So I need to think about what we're going to get her. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's from Pandora. And whilst we're on Pandora, I'll show you what I picked up from Pandora. So um, Pandora had a buy, spend £99 and get a bracelet free up to the value of £55. Um, so a bit of backstory then. I sadly lost my bracelet, my 21st birthday present that I got on a cruise back in 2019. I think what happened is it just got all tangled up with paperwork and um, it sadly got binned when the cleaner was in. Um, thankfully, we got an insurance claim. We had insurance, so we claimed against the insurance and they refund. They basically refunded us all uh, the value for all of the charms and the bracelet. We just had to provide evidence of the bracelet and the charms on that bracelet which we did, we got a good payout back. Um, so I'm just trying my best to get the charms again. So I want near enough the exact charms I had on that bracelet because it's sentimental, because people brought me it for my 21st birthday. I don't want to get other charms. I want the ones I had on that bracelet. So I'll show you the bracelet first because the bracelet is the same as the one I had. Um, it's this one here. So it's got a heart as the clasp i'll bring it out it's got a heart as the clasp and it's just it looks really diddy but it does fit um and it is the smallest one they do <laughs> for adults i think they only do adults but yeah so that was free because i spent over i spent exactly a hundred pounds so i without meaning to exactly a hundred pounds so i got the bracelet for free so the charms i picked up were oh god i've put i've put in a couple from my other ones i've had so these are two of the four charms i've got so i've got i don't know if it's going to be clear this mickey mouse one and this up one i don't know if it's going to focus um but so the up one jack had already bought for me previously and the mickey mouse one was on my previous charm so I've got the Mickey Mouse one to replace. I don't know if it's going to share. I'm hoping you can see that. Mickey Mouse and then the up is just gorgeous with the little floating house with the balloon. Just gorgeous. And then to go with Mickey, of course, I brought Minnie. So here she is in all her glory. The one I had um, on my previous bracelet was actually, um, it was more of like a, a it had like diamantes on it um but i've changed it to this one because i didn't have the diamante ones on in there so i've got two of those and then this one which is a birthstone charm so the one i had previously was just a block with the stone in the middle this one is a dangly one with my birthstone in the middle so it looks like that so i'm a march baby so that is for March. Um, I absolutely love that. And it was a really good price. I think it was 30, I think it was 35 pounds for that one. Um, and I think that's a really good price for a charm. So yeah, I've hopefully slowly gonna start replacing my gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet I had. Um, I'm absolutely gutted I, I lost that. I cried and don't even wanna go to it. I got watery eyes thinking about it. But as part of that, I got a 15% off full price charms, clips and chains. So I might utilise that. Um, oh, valid in store only, that's annoying. But yeah, if I go back to the shopping centre I went to, I might utilise that and get some more. Because um, I nearly bought the Mrs Potts one, but I didn't have a Mrs Potts one on my charm previous. So I'm going to hold off buying that until I've got all my other ones. I know, little things. So that's Pandora. Um, I then picked up some vans because if you guys have been here for a while you will know my favorite shoes in the whole world are my white slip-on vans um i wear them to death i've got watery eyes thinking about them and you guys know if i've got watery eyes that means i love something i'll never be able to be fake on these things because as soon as when i love something 
the eyes start to water. So I was, I have been looking everywhere for white slip-on bands. And because the trend at the moment is to wear a lovely dress with white bands, white air forces, white converses, that's like the trend. Um, I couldn't get any anywhere, literally anywhere. Nowhere sold white slip-on bands in my size online. And then luckily I went into shoe, I think it's shoe, yeah, shoe. And they had one pair, one pair of bands left and the pair was in my size. So it was meant to be, it was meant to be. Um, the only downfall is that the one pair was the sample pair. Now the guy in the shop was very much like to me, um, you know, these shoes have been tried on by someone else, but they are, um, sprayed with sanitizer every single time they're tried on because of um, COVID and all that. Um, and he said, tell you what, if you buy them, um, we will give you 10% off. So I was like, no, steal, I'm going to go for it. And I know it seems a bit weird because someone else has tried these shoes on. But then if you were ordering shoes from ASOS or whatever, and so someone else could have tried them on before you return them, and then you've got them, you know? So it works the same. And it's the same with like these, you know, they sit on the shelf in the sale. People try them on, on and off all the time. It really doesn't make a difference. So I managed to get these for, oh, I think there was an e-receipt. Yeah, it's an e-receipt. But I think they were 52. And I think I got them for 46, roughly, with the 10% off. So this is what they look like. They're really not. They're absolutely fine. They're clean. They're not filthy. Um, and I just cannot wait to get these on my feet. I'm holding off um, until uh, I wear nice dresses because the weather's so dire that I don't want to be going out in my nice white shoes in the rain and ruining them before they look nice with a nice dress. So, yeah, that was my favourite purchase of the day, finding those. It was like heaven had been given to me in my hands. <laughs> I'm so sad. But yeah, um, got a bargain on those because of they were the fact they were show home. Show home uh, on display. And then we popped into River Island and I picked up, me and Jack picked up some sunglasses each. Jack got these very simple sunglasses that really suit him. Um, just like some black sunglasses. And then I picked up these gorgeous sunglasses for £16. Um, and they look like this let me can i open it or is it not open oh it is this is when they oh my god there we go right so they look like this they've got like a to total shell or whatever it is and then they go like a bit and they look like this on so picture me in florida at a restaurant waiting to be served my coke probably because that's what you have in florida with a nice dress and my white vans and me probably have this for me because you need water when you're abroad <laughs> um and my nice pandora bracelet in me sandals in me shorts whatever um loving life i just had to get them i loved them and i just felt the vibe as soon as i saw them i was like yes these are mine um so yeah, I wasn't purposely going out of my way to look for sunglasses because I just buy Primark ones, to be honest, um, because they're cheap and cheerful and you can get more for your money, I guess. You can get 16 pairs instead of paying for one pair for 16. But these are going to be like my special sunglasses for like pub beer gardens or barbecues with family and friends, um, not like my bike riding sunglasses or like ones I'd wear to go into the water with, you know, like on holiday. These are my nice sunglasses. Um, so I said, I haven't got Ray-Bans. I used to have Ray-Bans and I think my mum stole them from me. They were my 18th birthday present and I haven't seen them since. Mum, if you're watching, I'll add them back, please. Yeah, so that's that. So moving on to Shein, the last bit of the haul. Um, I picked up a few bits and bobs, so I'll show you what I picked up. So first thing is first. Um, I actually saw a very, very similar dress to this. Oh, excuse me in um jack wills for 60 pounds and i loved it i fell in love with it i was like oh my god i want that dress so oh it seems the inside out typical i saw this on Shein for it was like 10 pounds or something stupid and yes it looks a bit like a tea towel 
or not a tea towel, a tablecloth or both mixed together. It's this pink, yellow and green, like smock style dress. Um, and I absolutely love it. Um, absolutely love it. I, I think this is so cute for just day to day running around. So, you know, like um, in the summer, basically, basically in the summer when you're working and you just need to wear a little dress in the office or for a picnic or whatever. This is just lovely. And I just think it's gorgeous. It probably is a little bit see-through, but white underwear, nude underwear, you know, we move. And I just think it's gorgeous. I love the thrills on it. I'll bring it a bit closer. Um, let me know what you think because I know it's going to be one of those dresses which some people love, some people hate, some people think it's a tea towel, some people think it's genius. Jack likes it, so I like it. <laughs> yeah, so that was that. It was only about ten pounds. And then I picked up two um, more of my everyday tops that I love to wear. So this one in. Um, uh, lighter brown to the one I wore when I had on my previous Shein haul. This is so small. Everything I bought is so small, by the way. Um, and these are just really good quality. If you're looking for like eraser back tops, definitely check out Shein because they're like six pounds a top, but they're really thick. They're not see through. They're really good quality. They sit nicely on your stomach. Um, I wear my darker brown one to death. I'm always wearing it. Um, so I thought I'd pick up two more. So that one's a lighter brown because obviously brown's in fashion. And then I haven't actually looked at this one yet, but again, she in. And it is this light blue one um, because it looks quite big. It's a small, but it looks quite big. Um, I obviously know that I won't wear this with denim shorts, but I wear black shorts in the summer. I've got some lovely black denim shorts and I always struggle with what tops to wear with black denim shorts because I don't want to wear black on black. Um, and then white sometimes can be see-through. Um, whereas I thought this would look really nice with it. A bit of pop of colour. Um, it goes nice with white trainers, white bands, obviously, and all that. And I just thought it was really pretty. And it's a really lovely colour. I hope the camera's picking up the colour. It's um, it's that in blue, you know, that light in in blue, which is in. I think Sid and Al had a few of this bit of this colour in, in the style range. Um, it, again, really thick. Really, I can't rave about these... Um, racer back style tops enough from Shein. I think they're great and they're really good quality and really cheap. So that's that. And then the last top is this, which I love. The reviews are really great for this top. Again, a basic top, but with something, something. So um, this has like a lace detail at the top um, with some, again, those buttons, like the tortoiseshell buttons. And it's just this ribbed cami. At the back, the straps go a little bit thinner and um, I just thought this, again, is a really nice top with jeans or um, shorts. If, say, you go out at like three o'clock in the afternoon and it's lovely and sunny and you go into a beer garden, this with some shorts and some sandals or vans would just look lovely. And I just thought this is more of an out-out top than an everyday top. Like those two tops are everyday tops. This is like a special top. And for the price, it's a bargain and it's not going to be see-through because the rips are really thick. The reviews on this top were really good. That's why I picked it up. And actually, I wish I picked up more than one now. Um, but yeah, really lovely material. Um, hopefully you'll see them on the try-on clips. But yeah, really happy with that. And then finally, I picked up this gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Um I love this dress. I hope it looks nice on. So it's this satin long dress. It's a long dress, but it's got a slit. I'll put a photo up here of it online and it ruches here. You just pull that or you pull it up and it ruches. It roost, it's roost here. And oh my, oh my, this is just stunning. And it's got a cross at the back. Um, I thought, so my thought theory for this I'll just put it against me. I can't really, can't really do anything. But my theory for this was to buy it now for our cruise that we're going on at the end of the year, hopefully, or possibly um, 
I thought ahead and thought I could possibly wear this on my hen do next year um, because it's a really lovely, it's not white, it's a creamy silk. Um, and I just thought it would look really pretty on a, you know, on a special occasion. Um, or I'm still hoping to have an engagement party. Um, so like that sort of dress with a nice uh, engagement party. There's so many places you can wear that. It's not an everyday dress. It will be in my posh section on my wardrobe if it fits and looks nice. Um, but it's just gorgeous and the quality is great. The reviews on it was amazing. My top tip for Shein is just to look at the reviews because a lot of reviews are are really honest and people leave reviews on Shein because you get points and then you get like money off your next order. Um, so like my last order I did on Shein that I posted a whole haul about it, I'll drop it down below. Um, I think I had about six pounds worth of points on there because I like reviewed the clothes and and things so you get points so that's why i had six pounds off this order because i had already reviewed the clothes put photos up etc um so definitely do that if you are looking to save a bit of money and you know if you've got a bit if you've got 10 minutes spare on a sunday why not um so yeah she in really pulled through this month this time i'm really hoping it looks nice the more and more i buy out off of she in the more i love it and the more i feel like i can trust just spend just just buying things if that makes sense um yeah okay i'm gonna leave the video there because that's everything i brought over the last six weeks or so it seems a lot but it was I, I haven't actually spent that much money um i hope you all enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe and turn your bells on to be notified on my next upload um i am considering doing a daily what i eat in the day because I know how much you guys are loving it. And I might do it Monday to Friday or Sunday to Thursday. Um, because we tend to go out uh, once or twice a week at our family's house or out, out eating. Um, so I might consider doing that. Drop a message down below if you think that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Um, it just helps me to stay on track and it keeps me focused and motivated. And I think it will also help anyone else for me or ideas. And again, to keep them motivated i hope um yeah that's it from me i hope you enjoyed this video again please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys